What up everyone, DeLorean's Gaming TV, we're back with another video, we're on BMNG, we're gonna set another lap time, you know, today we're checking out the Brickell Legrand VRV, you know, Brickell, you know, Legrand VRV, this is the one we're checking out, you know, um, I guess we're gonna be checking out the panel van, you know, the panel van, you know, I think that's the first one we'll be checking out right here, nothing too crazy, no, it's a front wheel drive, 2.8 V6, you know, if you, if you don't know what this um, van is, it's based on a real life van, you know, it's based on a van in real life that existed, you know, during 89 to 96, you know, so late 90, late, late 80s to like the end of the 80s, you know, to like mid 90s, you could say, you know. And so, this thing is, you know, it's, you know, it's based on the real life version. If you know what it is, it's, it's the vacuum looking van. You know, it's, I thought it was a futuristic looking van, but some people say, some people are not wrong saying that it looks like a vacuum and it's true. It's based on the um, Chevy Lumina, Oldsmobile Silhouette, and the Pontiac Transport, you know, those are the three variations of the van that existed from 89 to 96 so you know that's what i pretty much know about it i don't know uh, more about it that's all i know about it you know i don't know more than that you know if you want to learn more than that i think you could probably go on you know um the wiki page oh look at this it's so bright you know i think i need to turn bloom off because it's just you know what is it it's just like, what is it? What is it? What is it? Even though Bloom looks nice, it's... it looks nice, right? But it, uh, like, is it possible the lighting quality? What if we turn it to normal? Is that possible? But I don't know. You know what? It's it's shiny. You know what are we gonna do? We got a shiny van, right? You know, let's just check out the interior. You know, this is, you know, for a panel van, this is kind of, you know, uh, like a '90s futuristic style panel van. You know, it has simple dials and buttons right here. You know, nothing too crazy. Nothing. You don't need to ask for more. You know, the the uh, speedometer right there is right. It's just what you need. You know, hundred and all right, so probably go 160. I, I doubt. I doubt this will go 160. This will not go 160. I doubt it. You know, and this got the fuel gauge, the temp gauge. You know, the you know the climate control buttons, and you know this cigarette lighter and a charging. Does it has a charging port? Because I don't know. Because I don't know back. Well, it has a 12 volt charging port. So I guess. Back in the 90s, you did had a 12 volt charging port. I guess to charge your beeper or your your Motorola phone. I guess cell phones back in the day we needed. I don't, I don't know what 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 you would use for a 12 volt back in the day. Maybe like those plug-in um uh, mustache shavers. I don't know, electric like shavers, whatever you call it. And enough of that, buddy. You know, well, uh, so you got this Momo Friends type livery on it. You know, got the simple steelies. Nothing too crazy. So enough with the talking and we're gonna get on with the lap time so uh, I'm gonna get on with the lap time and then at the end of the video I'll do a little more short review on what I thought of the, the vehicle and then and that'll be that you know because I don't want to talk while I'm driving because you know because I can't focus actually you know I really can't focus so I'm gonna try to set a lap time and I do apologize for this shiny roof hope it doesn't blind you Okay. 
handles great, I think. I think it handles great. Not too much oversteer or understeer, in my opinion, but I don't know. That, i just driven it for a little bit right now. Something I wish, but this is just a, this is just a, you know, like, a simple, you know, this is just decent performance for a panel van, you know, because you just need to haul around packages and stuff, or furniture or whatever, nothing too heavy, you're not, you're not hauling anything crazy, right? But, okay, the brakes are a little, I don't know, the brakes do lock up, you know, you know, they're not, they're not fantastic brakes. But I do wish, even though this is just a basic panel van, you know, it's not meant to be like anything crazy, you know, you're not, you're not like hauling like crazy amount of weight, so. But I, but I still wish it had a little bit more horsepower, you know, and a little bit more power, you know, more power, you know, you know, like Jeremy Clarkson says, more power, you know, you know, because. 2.8 liter V6. It doesn't seem that powerful at all, you know. And and if you're trying to haul like a sofa or, or like a two mattresses up a hill, I don't think you'll. I don't think this will be enough power, you know. So I haven't tested it. I would. I would want to. I, I do want to test this. Like drive this like up a hill, you know. See if. The power is enough, but I don't know. No. This is how this is as fast we can go. This is the top speed. 83 miles per hour is all we can go. And our brakes do lock up so sometimes if we mash the brakes. So anyways, I just wanna know is I'm curious so I'm curious what lap time we're gonna get because we we only our top speed is 83 miles per hour. So I'm curious what lap time we get. If we're going downhill we'll probably get 85 miles per hour. Lucky, if we're lucky, but I don't know, like what lap time do you think we're gonna get with eight going 83 miles per hour, you know? If this this was like at least hundred miles per hour, then again you know, that would have been a little better. I say we'll, we'll get a lap times in the 10 minute 10 minutes and 11. That's what I'm thinking. I I w look, I would be impressed if we got a lap time less than 10 minutes. I would be impressed. But I don't know if it's possible because this thing only has a top speed of 80 miles per hour. Once it well, once it hit that top speed, it, it just goes silent, like it like it's some hybrid vehicle, you know. Mm. Okay, we're off the tracks already. A little bit of oversteer, but um, nothing too crazy. Okay, I take it back. You know, this thing does like to oversteer. You know, this thing does like to oversteer. I think if you just corner it early, you, you're not going to oversteer too much. Just, just got to corner it and go flat out. Then you'll have less oversteer. But, okay. We did hit the wall though. We slightly tapped the wall, but oh my gosh, this van is too bright. You know, I want to turn Bloom off. You know, I don't. Even though Bloom makes this game look good. Oh, okay. We did take a hit. You know, that's gonna hurt our lap time a little bit. But you know, what can we do? You know, that's gonna hurt our lap time a little bit. We will assess the damage later, I believe. But you know, like I said, I do one take lap times. You know, I keep it simple and fair. You know, I don't want to. You know, I could do a top gear fashion where they keep restarting, like keep retrying, retrying until they come. 
set a lap time, but I'm not gonna do it that way. And I did crash the wall, so probably lost a couple seconds of lap time, but you know, I'm gonna just keep it. I'm gonna keep my lap time real as possible. So I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna restart. I'm gonna keep it real as possible. Look at that. We damaged our tail light right there. Right tail light's damaged. So we have one working tail light. That's okay. Oh, oh my god, I just opened the back door. The back back door. Oh my gosh. No, 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 I wasn't supposed to do that. I, mean, I wasn't trying to do that while driving, but you know, I don't know how that's possible. See, when we're going uphill, we're do, we're, we are lacking a lot of the power, like I said. So this thing is not going to be able to carry a lot of stuff uphill, you know. So I don't know how this would be a, a perfect panel thing, you know. Just for light carrying, then yes. This will be the perfect panel bed. I think this will be perfect for like restaurants, small businesses, maybe the US Postal Service, you know, they'll probably they'll probably be okay with this. The suspension is a bit bouncy as you can see. It's it's a bit bouncy, you know. If I go on a curb a little bit, watch. See like See, if I go off the curb a little bit, it's like, it's a bit bouncy, you know? You know? So, if you were looking for comfort, this, this van is not for you, you know? If you're looking for comfort, this van is not for you. I'm probably going to go inside a little bit, because, man, that, I need to change my settings or something, because I don't know why why my band looks all shiny. Look at, look at my band, it looks all shiny. Looks like, you know, it looks like Pikachu about to do Thunderbolt or something. You know? But anyways, so, uh, I'm surprised, you know, we're, we're, we're at the eight minute mark, you know. I am surprised. We're like, we're like 70% finished. You know, we're like 70% there. We got 30% 30 30 more to go and then we get our lap time, you know. We're almost there to, to the finish line. I think I'm gonna, for the next time, I think I'm gonna put on evening, because that way it's not too shiny. Like, it, like I said, if this gets less than 10, if I get a lap time of less than 10 minutes, I'm gonna be impressed. Like, I am going to be impressed. But I doubt it. Like I said, it's gonna be in 10 minutes and 11 minutes, it's gonna be the lap time. That's, that was my guess. Like I said, this is not a fast a van at all. It's, it has a top speed of 83 miles per hour. And you're not gonna set any like um, you're not gonna set any like amazing record lap times at all. But you'll do all right, I guess. You'll do all right, I guess. Alright, once we once we get this lap time out, well, once we get our lap time, we're gonna, you know, check out. We're gonna assess the damage, you know, because I did hit the wall a little bit. I'm surprised it didn't damage any of my suspensions or my, you know, anything like that, you know, because that that would have meant I would have to start over, and I do not want to start over. You know? And even if I did start over, it's not like I would have gotten a better lap time. Alright, this is 
their laptop. 10 minutes and 58 seconds. Okay, that's our lap time, you know. Okay, we're gonna assess our damage, you know. Okay, but let me, um, let me change the, um, time a little bit and sunset, you know. Yeah, let me change the time to sunset, you know, because it's too bright, you know. We're not gonna be able to see it. Next time, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the lap time on sunset, so it's not too bright, you know. It's too late now to, you know. But like I said. Okay, see all our all our all our headlights work and everything, you know. Wait, hold on, let me exit out of this. All our headlights work and everything, you know. We're not nothing wrong with that. You know, so right here we just got a slight damage right here, you know, in our front front right, you know quarter panel and it's a little you know hood hood bend you know nothing too crazy you know like our tail lights a little i mean our blinker lights right our blinker lights a little popped out you know right there headlights a little popped out right nothing a little slight as you can see slight you know dent but let's see if we can open the door yeah, 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 it's no problem. We have no problem opening the door. There's no problem opening the door. See, look at that. Okay. Okay. Okay, our door is... Our door is a little bit, um... Uh, having little, little issues with opening the door, but... Other than that... You know... This side. What? What about this side? Yep. All right, we're good on that. You know, all our doors work properly. Our trunk door opens. You know, we so there's nothing wrong. You know, we're good to go. You no. Know? See, there's nothing. The handling is fine. Brakes are fine too, you know. It's, it's what you expect, you know. Nothing more, nothing less from a panel van like this, you know. It does look like a vacuum, like like people said. And some people say it looks like a spaceship, and I cannot lie, it does. You know, the windshield is pretty, pretty big, you know. So, yeah, so, you know, it's good, you know. You can see more. But anyways, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget the likes. Smash the like button, smash the share button, comment down below what vehicle you want to see me next. Set a lap time for next and I'll check it out, you know. I have more vehicles to check out at this. I do have more vehicles coming to check out. I'm gonna, Hopefully they'll be able to set impressive lap time. So I'll catch you in the next video.